Hi everyone, today we are going to look into one of the superstructural RCC component that is slab and we are also going to learn the basic difference between formwork, shuttering and centering. Okay, so previously when we are discussing about the structural element, we will always start with slab, then we will see beam, then only column. This is because the load of the slab will be transferred to the beam and the load of the slab and beam will be transferred to the column and the load of slab, beam and column will be transferred to the footing. Okay, so let's start. So slab is a flat common structural element of a building. See, we know if it is a structural element, it should be made up of RCC that is reinforced cement concrete with the help of steel as well as concrete so mostly the thickness of the slab is 100 to 500 mm if you see the normal residential building will go for 100 mm thick slab the minimum diameter of a rebar a rebar is nothing but the reinforcement bar so it should be minimum 8 mm for the slab you will see the types of slab there are two types of slab one is known as one way slab another one is known as Two way slab. See, in slab is a 3D component. It will be having length, breadth, and depth. So, if you have length by breadth is greater than 2, we used to call it as one way slab. If L by B ratio is less than 2, we used to call it as a two way slab. So, let's see how this slab looks. See, this is a slab. It is a three-dimensional component. We have a length, we have a breadth, and we have a thickness. Since it is small plate, we used to call it as a thickness. So, it is a 3D length, breadth, and thickness. So, thickness, it is 100 mm. For this example, we consider the breadth for 3 meter and the length of 8 meter. So, now what we are going to do, we are going to cut in between and open this and we are going to look from top what are the things present inside the slab and for the next what we will do we will do a cut over here which is parallel to this thickness plane and we will look from this side what are the reinforcement present inside and how it is arranged okay so this is that slab this is the length and this is the breadth so we are looking from the top so these are the reinforcement this is the horizontal reinforcement and these are the these are the x direction reinforcement and these are the y direction reinforcement so what it is mentioned is 10 mm dia bars this bars and all are of all the red colors are of 10 mm dia bar 150 mm center to center spacing that means between the two bars the spacing is 150 mm so next we will see the bars in the x direction which are in blue color so this bar are of 10 mm dia at 150 mm center to center spacing so this all blue color bars are of 10 mm dia and the spacing between the adjacent bars are of 150 150 150 mm so this is the top view now what we are going to do, this green color is the section, we are going to cut this part and we are going to look from this side. So what happens, we can see the thickness, we can see the thickness which is of 100 mm and if we cut in this face, you can see this bar, this blue bar is this one. So what we will do in the end is we will bend the bar like this in a L pattern and this red color bar will be showing its cross section this dot and are or the red color bars. So if we cut like this we can only see the front diameter of this bar. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 rods, so we can see 10 diameters. 
when we see the when we cut this section we can see only the first bar remaining bars bar will be behind this so we can see only the first bar so this is the plan and this is the section of the slab so now we will see the sequence of construction of a slab so construction sequence of the slab so first one is form work so you should know what is mean by form work form work is nothing but the arrangement used to support the fresh concrete that is known as form work when it's done for the horizontal member it is known as centering when it is done for the vertical member like column it is known as shuttering so all together we can call it as a form work or else if you want to specify for the slab and beam we can call it as centering for uh, columns we can call it as shuttering so first step is form work that is going to arrange the centering next one is reinforcement that is we are going to arrange the reinforcement bars then we will place the cover block and place the reinforcement bar above the cover block then fourth we will do the concreting so these are the steps involved in the construction sequence of a slab so first what we will do we will arrange the form work so the flat plate at this level so we'll have a flat plate first one is form work next is rebar so we are going to arrange the rebar so how we will do is so this is 8 meter this is 3 meter so this bar is the bottom bar so we'll take a 8 meter bar and we will bend in both the ends so before that what we will do the form work is ready in the form work we will mark 150 mm spacing in this side and we will take a 8 meter bar bend on both the ends placed at 150 mm center to center spacing then what we will do we will take a 3 meter bar we will take a 3 meter bar place spacing in y direction at the spacing of 150 okay so after placing this this should be behaving like a mat so we have to tie this so with the help of small steel wire that is known as binding wire we will tie this bars of both the direction so that it can act like a mat so the next one is over that is reinforcement is ready third one is cover block so what is mean by cover block is if you place the mat as it is and if you do the concrete after removing of the shuttering you can see the bar from the bottom so what we have to do we have to place a small blocks that is known as cover block what we will do we will place the small block over here over here over here like this one two three in a zigzag pattern then we will take this complete mat place on the top of the cover block of this height of this site then we will do the concreting so after doing the concreting we will allow the concrete to set and we will cure it for 28 days and after seven days we can remove the shuttering and finally you can see the slab like this so this is all about the slab so slab it is a flat common structural element thickness will be 100 to 500 mm minimum diameter of rebar should be used is 8 mm types we have two type one way and two way slab and this is the dimensions so this is the plan of the slab you can see the reinforcement in x direction as well as the y direction and this is the section AA. If we cut, we can see the thickness and length and the bars. And these are the sequence. So first one is we are going to arrange the centering. Then we are going to do the reinforcement work. Then we'll place the cover block. And then we are going to do the concreting. So this is all about this stuff. Thank you.